first time watching Inception. <laughs> Let's go ahead and watch this. He was delirious, but asked for you by name. He was carrying nothing but this and this. Is that one of those little spinny, spinny things? Are you here to kill me? I know what this is. Belong to a man I met in Hog Hindenburg Tree. What is the most resilient parasite? Intestinal worm. Wait, do we just go back and... What Mr. Cobb is what? trying to say. And I'm resilient, highly contagious. Once an idea has taken hold of the brain, it's almost impossible to eradicate. Fully formed, fully understood, that sticks. In the dream state, your conscious defenses are lowered and it makes your thoughts vulnerable to theft. Train your subconscious to defend itself from even the most skilled extractor. Because I am the most skilled extractor. I know how to search your mind and find your secrets. I know the tricks. You're gonna have to be completely open with me. I need to know my way around your thoughts better than your wife. In order for this all to work, you need to completely let me in. Enjoy your evening, gentlemen. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a, an extreme download. I'm still trying to process. He knows. He knows what? Whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. What's going on? What is going on, y'all? That's the dude we was just looking at. So they were already inside of his... This is so much to take in right now. This is so much to take in! Christopher! I can get it here, trust me. The information is in the safe. You look right at it when I mention secrets. Head back to the room. All right, I'll take care of this. Oh, he's so calm about it. Oh, the suaveness. Oh, what are you doing here? I thought you might be missing me. I, I can't trust you anymore. Please. Have a seat. Do the children miss me? I can't imagine. Oh, he also Mission Impossible <laughs> stuff. Didn't he tell her to stay put? Turn around. Oh, the gun down. Oh, was she a traitor? He already said he couldn't trust her. We see why. Please. But what happens if you kill somebody here? Are they really dead? I want to know the name of your employer. He's threatening him in a dream, right, Mom? Killing him will just wake him up. But pain. Ah! Pain is in the mind. And judging by the decor, we're in your mind, aren't we, Arthur? Whoa. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> this movie already goes hard for no reason. Ah. Got it. Yes! Time to wake up. <laughs> wake up, up, wake up. <laughs> ah! <gasps> oh, yo. Listen, listen, listen. No land. No land. Wow. Hey, okay, first of all. Ah. You left out a key piece of information, didn't you? The question is, why'd you let us in at all? An audition. You failed. We extracted every bit of information you had in there. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait, what are you saying? How are we getting his... Wait, so we were in a dream with inside of a dream with inside of a dream dream? They won't accept failure. We won't last two days. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this a little more simply. Tell us what you know now! I've always hated this carpet. Which means I'm not lying on my carpet in my apartment. Wow. So that wasn't... Girl, stop tricking me! Stop tricking me! Not in your dream. Or in mine. How do you mess up the carpet? It wasn't my fault. You're the architect. <laughs> How you mess up the carpet at one job. I'm getting off at Kyoto. I don't like trains. I thought we was in his dream. I thought we was in his dream. Turns out we in this man's dream. How do I know that this is a reality? He's like, mm, some funny dream I have. <laughs> Miss Hello? Hi, Daddy. Hi, Dad. Hi. I'm away because I'm working. Grandma says you're never coming back. Wow, Grandma. Let's just hope she's wrong about that. 
Listen, I'm, oh. I'm gonna send some what? presents with Grandpa. Even the music. Who is the composer? Is it Hans? Is it Hans? Cause it's getting me. Hey, are you okay? Down in the dream, all showing up, getting worse, isn't it? One apology is all you're getting, all right? And by now they know we failed. Where are you gonna go? Oh, they're running. Oh. So I offer you the satisfaction. It's not the way I deal with things. Oh. What will you do with him? Nothing. What do you want from us? Inception. I say to you, don't think about elephants. What are you thinking about? Elephants. Right, but it's not your idea. True inspiration is impossible to fake. Can you do it? Are you offering me a choice? How would you like to go home to your children? Just like Inception. Cobb, come on. How complex is the idea? Simply enough. No idea is simple when you need to plant it in somebody else's mind. <laughs> My man is son will soon inherit control of the corporation. I need him to decide to break up his father's empire. Is that the old man from the beginning? God, we should... If I even could do it, I'd need a guarantee. You don't. Do you want to take a leap of faith? Oh, Cobb, Cobb. This can't be done. Yes, it can. Just have to go deep enough. You don't know that. Would you do it to him? We're gonna need a new architect. Hey, okay. No one said, let me get people from the Dark Knight, <laughs> Dark Knight franchise. <laughs> Alfred! I never taught you to be a thief. No, you taught me to navigate people's minds. What are you doing here, Doc? It's a job for some very, very powerful people. It can fix my charges permanently. What did he do? You want me to let someone else follow you into your fantasy. They don't actually come into the dream. Design it yourself. Ma won't let me. I need an architect who's as good as I was. I have a test for you. Two minutes to design a maze that it takes one minute to solve. Huh? What kind of test is this? They say we only use a fraction of our brain's true potential. When we're asleep, our mind can do almost anything. But sometimes it feels like it's almost creating itself. Now in a dream, our mind continuously does this. Create and perceive our world simultaneously. Girl, what? You create the world of the dream. We bring the subject into that dream and they fill it with their subconscious. Acquire enough detail to make them think that it's reality. They feel real while we're in them, right? It's only when we wake up that we realize something was actually strange. You, you never really remember the beginning of a dream, do you? You always wind up right in the middle of what's going on. How did you get here? Where are you right now? Your first lesson in chair dreaming. Girl, what? Like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. Because it's never just a dream, is it? It feels real. That's why the military developed dream sharing. It was a training program. What? For to shoot. Even the way that this is shot, you don't know that it's a dream. Like, we're experiencing what they're experiencing because it feels so real. The scene feels so real. In a dream, your mind functions more quickly. Time seems to feel more slow. Yes, yes. An hour in the dream. What? Get up to in five minutes. What? This is so... This, this is... Who? Who are the people? Projections of my subconscious. When you build this world, I am the subject. My mind populates it. I guess I thought that the dream space would be all about the visual. What happens when you start messing with the physics of it all? No, 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 no. Bro, this is some Doctor, did Doctor Strange take notes? <laughs> Doctor Strange, the first one took notes from this movie. <laughs> what? Who was, is that her doing this? But the thing is, this, is a, this doesn't even look like visual effects. Whoa, whoa. My mind is just already blown. We could roll credits. Roll credits. Why are they all looking at me? My subconscious feels that someone else is creating this world. I sense the foreign nature of the dreamer. Like they're gonna attack us? No. <laughs> Why he says that so calmly? They're just gonna attack you. Oh! Oh, wow. Wait, is she looking at his memories? I know this one. Never recreate places from your memory. Always imagine new places. Well, you gotta draw from stuff you know. Because building a dream from your memory is the easiest way to lose your grasp on what's real and what is a dream. Okay. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh my 
my gosh. Wait, why does Matt, why does she always show up in his dreams? Like, what? what is that about? You can't wake up from within the dream unless you die. She'll need a totem. What? I see you met Mrs. Cobb. She's oh. his wife? Yeah, totem. You need a small object, potentially heavy, something you can have on you all the time. Only I know the balance and the weight of this particular loaded die. You know beyond a doubt that you're not in someone else's dream. Oh. I, I don't know if Cobb has some serious problems that he's tried to bury down there. She seems pretty open and accepting to this dream world. Like, do they, as a society, have a consciousness of dream hopping? There's plenty of good thieves. We don't just need a thief. We need a forger. Oh, y'all got Tom Hardy in here? <laughs> Yo, we got an all-star cast, man. Inception. Now, before you bother telling me it's impossible. It's no, it's perfectly possible. It's just difficult. So Arthur keeps telling me it can't be done. He's good at what he does, right? It's not imagination. Have you done it before? No, it's not just about death. It's the simplest version of the idea in order for it to grow naturally in your subject's mind. We need the heir of a major corporation to dissolve his father's empire. It's really at the mercy of your subject's prejudice, you see. We start at the absolute basic. Do you have a chemist? No, not yet. You, sir. P.O. He formulates his own versions of the compounds. Man at the bar. Cobble engineering. Run interference. I'll meet you downstairs in the bar and say, uh, say half an hour. We're back here. <laughs> You're not tripping now, are you? <laughs> run, Cobb, run. Uh, cafe. One, one cafe. Covers blown. Come on, Carl. Oh, oh! I like. I feel like I felt that when he ran into the car. Oh, he don't broke a nose. It's like one of the times you probably wish you were in a dream. Oh, claustrophobia. <laughs> He's like, ugh, ugh. Ah. Oh, oh, you're surrounded, Cobb. <laughs> whoa, whoa! I need to protect my investments. Explain to me. So this is your idea of losing a towel, yeah? I tried not to come, but... But there's nothing quite like it. You're gonna have to master a few tricks if you're gonna build three complete dream levels. Cheat architecture into impossible shapes. Closed loops. Like the Penrose steps. Whoa, I was wondering... <laughs> what? A closed loop like that will help you disguise the boundaries, but they have to be complicated enough that we can hide from the projections. A maze. Right, a maze. He thinks it's safer if he doesn't know the layouts. But I think it's Mal. His ex-wife? They're still together? No. Well, she's dead. So how is she able to... What you see in there is just his projections. Wow, that's gotta be... To formulate compounds for a job and to go into the field with us. We need you there to tailor compounds specific to our needs. A dream within a dream. Two levels. Three. A dream within a dream within a dream? It is possible. You just have to add a sedative. A oh, powerful sedative. This, I think, is a good place to start. I use it every day. You talk about it like, like it's a water. I use it every day. Yeah. I come every day to share the dream. What? You see? Ooh. I'm slapping people. How long do they dream for? About 40 hours, each and every day. After a while, it becomes the only way you can dream. They come here every day to sleep. They come to be woken up. The dream has become the reality. Wow. Y'all is not gonna put me under. Uh-uh. Are you all right, Mr. Cobb? Right, is this even a reality? What's your problem with this, Mr. Fisher? Oh, wow! Okay, Christopher Nolan got the whole Dark Knight cast. The seed that we plant in this man's mind will grow into an idea that may come to change everything about him. We can no longer compete. The world needs Robert Fisher to change his mind. How is Robert Fisher's relationship with his father? The relationship is quite complicated. Well, we can't work based solely on rumor, can we? Fisher Jr.'s godfather. It should be possible. I don't want to bother him unnecessarily, but there are some. We need to talk about a power of attorney. I know this is our Not now. The sicker Morris Fisher becomes, the more powerful Peter Browning becomes. Right. I've had I can impersonate Browning, suggest concepts to Fisher's conscious mind. What? So he gives himself the idea. That's a lot of thinking. Fisher? So you're learning, huh? Was it your idea? Malls, actually. This. 
This one was hers. Arthur told me she passed away. I, actually, I have a question about this layout. No, 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 don't show me specifics. Only the dreamer should know the layout. I mean, in case you bring them all in. You can't build because if you know the maze, then she knows it. You gotta warn him if this is getting worse. No one said it's getting worse. Actually, Arthur did at the beginning. Why can't you go home? Because they think I killed her. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't know. Arthur should not be going in. He's too high of a risk. He could blow the whole operation. He's motivated by emotion, right? The way to translate this into an emotional concept. How do you translate a business strategy into... <laughs> no, because I think positive emotion trumps negative emotion every time. We all yearn catharsis. Right. We need Robert Fisher to have a positive emotional reaction. My father accepts that I want to create for myself. We need to do a little better than might. Forgive me for wanting a little specificity. Feed him. I will create something for myself. My father doesn't want me to be him. Exactly. This, the narrative, it goes hard. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> when you enter a dream within that dream, three dreams, that's 10 hours. I'm sorry. Uh, Mass was never my strong subject. The first level down, six months, the second level down. What? It's 10 years. That's. No, 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 no. How do we get out? Oh, yeah, it would be a kick. <laughs> Perfect staging. Are we going to feel a kick with this kind of sedation? I customized the sedative to leave inner ear function unimpaired. <laughs> Y'all ever had one of those dreams where you, you, you was dreaming, you was falling, and you woke up? We could use the musical countdown to synchronize the different kicks. We need at least a good 10 hours. One of the longest flights in the world. He makes it every two weeks. Oh, that's good, y'all. I bought the airline. Oh, he said I bought the airline. The whole thing is so smooth. Just the thought process, the dream, the story, the dialogue, everything is smooth, but I don't know how the execution of this is gonna go. I feel something's gonna go wrong. Girl, don't go entering into this man's dream now. Oh, she trying to play. Okay, you know, whatever happens to you, happen. You don't have no business entering his dreams. Oh, 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 I don't know. It's just her, seeing her in dreams is like so freaky. Like she's just naturally creepy. I don't know what it is. That just gave me, oh. This has nothing to do with you. This has everything to do with me. It My dreams were still together. These are memories. And you said never to use memories. He is hiding a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. She's already gone. See, I thought about calling out to them. So they turn and smile. It's all too late. Whatever I do, I can't change this moment. Okay, listen now. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. And you should not be looking through this man's... Mm. Mom, she's just so creepy, bro. I'm everywhere. How could you understand? You're waiting for a train. You know where you hope this train will take you. Because it'll be together. How could you bring her here, Dom? Oh! Oh! Yo, I'm telling y'all. You said we'd grow up together! Yo! I'm telling you right now, Maul has got to be the, cr the creepiest part of this movie. Like, for real, for real. She like, this is some horror level stuff. She just pop up. What are you doing here? Like, it's crazy! Do you think you can just build a prison of memories to lock her in? It's fine. What do you- No, it's- What do you mean, it's time? We are not ready. Get us another seat on the plane. Mm, this is so slick, y'all. Excuse me, I think this is yours. Salt oh, water, please. Same. You wouldn't happen to be related to the Maurice Fisher, would you? He was my father. There you go. Oh, this is slick. What? Do you know how how much they had to calculate that this instance would work? Y'all have to be on such an accord to get this all done right. Ooh, I'm ready. I'm ready, let's do it. Couldn't have peed before you went under, sorry. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, it's either he's sad or... Hey man, why don't you try? Walk away. <laughs> Walk away. Girl, this is slick. This is slick! What do you... Oh, what do you mean? Come on! A train? Wait a minute, who was thinking about all this stuff? Wait, let me 
hundred dollars in there. The wallet's worth more than that. Just drop it. <laughs> Stop. I'm too confused. What is going on? Are these the projections? Or... Cobb? Cobb ain't never seen nothing like this. We can't... No, nobody can die because then they'll be kicked out. Music in this scene. Okay, it's okay, just okay. a natural sound okay. and it makes the moment that more intense. No! Oh, come on! Like, it's either, either Sato has to die. Blocked by a freight train. Why would you put a train crossing in the middle of a downtown intersection? Let me ask you a question. Why don't we ambush? They're not normal projections. They've been trained. Fishers had an extractor teach his subconscious to defend itself, so mm. his sub as it should have shown in the research. You were meant to check Fisher's background thoroughly. We are not prepared for this type of violence. We this was not a part of the plan. He's dying. Cobb is upset. Don't do that. I'm waking him up. You won't wake him up. Wake when him up. we die in a dream, we wake up. We drop in a limbo. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Nothing is down there, which in our case is just you. How long do you say? Decades. It could be infinite. I don't know. Ask him. He's the one who's been there. Oh, this is... And if we get killed, we'll be lost in limbo till our brains turn to scrambled egg. Oh, man. I don't know. I... Bring me back to reality, bro. You knew about this and went along with it. I trusted him. You trusted him when he promised you half his share? His whole share. <laughs> Besides, he said he'd done it before. We continue on with the job and we do it as fast as possible and we get out. Forget it. We go any deeper, we just raise the stakes. I am exactly. sitting this one out on the 10 hours of flight time is a week at this level. That means each and every one of us will be killed. Continue on and do it as fast as possible. Wow. He just said, like, it's nothing. Shut up. It won't be. Your father's office below the. I don't know any safe. But tell us what it is. I don't know. You're on. You've got an hour. I was supposed to have all night to crack this. Sido wasn't supposed to be shot in the chest. Just, just make him stop. The combination. <laughs> and Browning ain't Browning. Two days. <laughs> Maurice told me that when he passed, you were the only one to be able to open it. Maybe you just didn't know it was a combination. We didn't have very many uh, meaningful experiences together. He was in a lot of pain. When we get down to the lower levels, the pain will be less intense. When you wake up, you won't even remember that we had an arrangement. You're going to be lost down there so long that you're going to become an old man. They're going to lock us in that van and then drive it into the river. A will. This would supersede the other if you wanted to. Why would he suggest such a thing? He loved you, Robert. He called me into his deathbed. He pulled me close. Disappointment. Oh. When were you in limbo? Yeah, that's what I was just about to ask. If he was in limbo, how was he just fine? But as we go deeper into Fisher, we're also going deeper into you. We were working together. We were exploring the concept of a dream. I just didn't understand the concept that hours could turn into years down there. We lost sight of what was real. We created, we built the world for ourselves. Something like 50 years. Wow. She had locked something away, something deep inside her. I knew something was wrong with her. Possessed by an idea that our world wasn't real. In order to get back home, we had to kill ourselves. Oh, wow. So she thought that her reality wasn't even the reality. Don't you think I can tell the difference? If this is my dream, why can't I control this? She wanted to do it, but she could not do it alone. Sweetheart, what are you doing? Join me. I'm going to jump and you're coming with me. You're not going to wake up, remember? Wow, well, look at me, please. You're waiting for a train. Oh. I left my children behind, and I've been trying to buy my way back ever since. How did that idea get planted in her head, though? Oh, y'all got to go. His subconscious is protecting to the box. The first six numbers that come to your head right now. Five, two, eight. How does Robert's projections have guns? You need some kind of distraction. No problem. How about a lovely lady that I've used before? You ready? Ready! It wasn't to your liking. Oh. Wow, we got into a different dream. This is so slick, man. Pleasure to see you again, Rod Green from marketing. <laughs> Rod Green from marketing. Yeah. Gambit designed to turn Fisher against his own subconscious because it involves telling the mark that he's dreaming, which involves attracting a lot of attention to us. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wow, I totally forgot. So he has to keep them protected. Oh. I am here to protect you. 
Oh, Cobb, I'm gonna need you to get it together. You're not safe here. These projections is... Oh! oh no, you have to keep them safe. What's happening? Cobb's drawing Fisher's attention to the strangeness of the dream. Quick, give me a kiss. Yeah, that's worth a shot. I don't know how much they can keep this up. Cause this van is rocking. <laughs> he played that off so slick, boy. Oh, you keep seeing your children. I need you to work with me, Mr. Fisher. Oh wow, he's he's even giving him a gun. This is a little risky, cop. Cop! 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 You may not wake up. That's what I say, it was risky. Why would you give him a, why? They had us in the back of a van. That explains the gravity shift. Because <laughs> they're trying to steal something from your mind. I need you to focus. A combination. What was the number, Mr. Fisher? Try and remember for me. Five, two, fifth floor. Yep. And then when the van hits the barrier of the bridge, that should be unmistakable. If it's too soon, we won't get pulled out. Can't drop you without gravity. They were trying to put you under. <laughs> Dream within a dream. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Mr. Gifford. <laughs> that was kind of close. Uncle Peter? They, al they already had him. They were torturing him. And you saw them torture. The kidnappers are working for you. Oh, girl, this is. They played that too good. This is a good plan. Nolan! <sighs> I'm not gonna throw away my inheritance. Why would I? That will, that's his last insult. That, that he was um, d disappointed. He's out. He's gonna help us break into his own subconscious. That's right. Cobb! Corn on the cob! I'm gonna need you to get it together. I'm gonna need you to get it together, Cobb. You about to blow this whole thing. You about to blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> Cobb! Please! Did he just slip into a memory while being in a dream? What's down there? Really, the truth we want Fisher to learn. Oh, wait. This is... This is the dream. Like I said, this movie does such a good job at it. It's like, I'm, I feel like I'm in the dream world with them. No! Man, I don't know. This is getting way too real. Oh, there's blood, who got shot? Oh! Oh my, 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 my. Oh no. Whoa, whoa. But was that the fall they were looking for? Wow, this goes hard. This whole sequence, come on. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 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 gosh. Like, don't talk to me about cinematography, blocking. It's such a cinematic masterpiece right now. I wish you could feel my heart rate right now. It, oh. Yeah, get back to your hotel room, dog. You're gonna draw the security away from the complex, you understand? Then you're gonna need to break into Browning's mind on your own. Yep, almost time, almost time. Oh, I hope this thing works. Wait, why did he stop? Cop, do you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. It's music. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Hold on. Not people shooting on skis. That's, that's I've never seen that before. <laughs> this is uh, kind of hardcore, not gonna lie. Oh, it's like one of those uh, paradox thingies. Paradox. Come on, come on, come on, Arthur, Arthur. That? The kick. Cobb, did we miss it? Yeah, we missed it. We finished the job before the next kick. What next kick? When the van hits the water. When the van hits the water? Uh, <sighs> listen. Arthur, listen, baby. <laughs> Not him having to use a key card, please. <laughs> this van is still falling, yo. Got 
This is like brilliant. Who is Dot? If that is Maul, if that ooh ooh ooh, if that <coughs> if that is Maul, I'm about to lose it. I can't do this. I can't. I sincerely, I cannot do this. I can't do this. I cannot. I can't do this. No. There's no way we, we can't. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's a shame. I really wanted to know what's gonna happen. Why can't we go in there? Still another way. We just have to follow Fisher down there. As soon as Arthur's music kicks in, just use the defibrillator to revive him, and we all ride the kick back up the layer. I listen. Okay, like I said, the mission it got like messed up terribly, but it just got worse. Wow, I forgot the van is still falling. Wow, ops on the radar. The music in this scene is so captivating. I don't believe in one reality anymore. <laughs> the van falling is iconic. You're wrong. Our children are here. All right, come on. Those aren't my children. You keep telling yourself that, but you don't believe it. No. I don't know who to believe. What do you feel? She's just so convincing. That guilt is always there. And the idea that caused you to question your reality came from me. Yeah. The reason I knew Inception was possible was because I did it to her first. Oh my gosh. But she couldn't break free. The simple little idea that would change everything. Oh my gosh. It's his dream. Those were his words. Oh, he's the villain, babe. Babe, he's the villain. But I never knew that that idea would grow in her mind like a cancer. What do you say? That death was the only escape. You betrayed me. Wow. Some, somebody's not gonna survive. I just, I just feel like crying right now. Oh. 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 I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't stay with her anymore because she doesn't exist. You're just a shade of my real wife. I'm sorry, you're just not good enough. Oh, I knew she was crazy! what I tell y'all? Oh, she done stabbed my dog. Oh! I forgot, it's a kick. <laughs> Come on, dog, all the kicks about the kick. Come on, come on, come on, come on! The kicks is kicking, the kicks is kicking. So they're gonna wake up on the plane now, right? Wait, but how is he gonna get back? We had our time together. That's what I'm saying. How they gonna get out? Like y'all all underwater. Will means that Dad wanted me to be my own man. That's what I'm gonna do, Uncle Peter. Purely an original idea. Oh man. Okay, I know this is like the nice thing to do, but I feel like Saito was already kind of gone. So the, oh, 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 what? Oh my gosh. You're flipping my flip flops. No, no, there's no way you connected the d <sighs> This world is not real. Take a leap of faith, yeah. Go back. Oh, Go don't back. Wait, wait, but did he get him? Or did he shoot him? What are you saying? What? 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 Wait. Ugh. I would. <laughs> I would be looking at somebody like, did we do it? This is real. The real life. Oh, he brought him back. Girl, what? Y'all about to have me act up. I'm about to act up. Make sure this is real. 
Oh, I think Donna sees children. It is still moving, right? <gasps> what are you saying? What are you saying? But it stopped moving. You're lying. You're lying. I don't know. <laughs> is what I experienced was the whole thing a lie? Cause I mean the spinny thing, the totem, it, it just kept spinning. But was it a dream? Was it real? Because it kind of stopped spinning, I think, but it didn't fall over. Was it a dream? <laughs> I'm so hurt. I feel betrayed. Was it a dream? Or was he really with his kids? <sighs> Nolan, Nolan, when don't you do it? But Christopher Nolan is one of my favorite directors and writers as well because he always comes up with stuff that's like, what? Huh? His movies, they aren't movies to be watched. They're movies to experience and dissect. Like, sure, I may have watched Inception today, but to understand the full scopes and the nuances within this film, you have to go back and watch that thing and really listen and pay attention multiple times to really absorb it all. Like, just in the film world, writer-directors, have this unique relationship to the script because as you're writing it you're you're envisioning it you know this world like nobody else does and that's what i really love you can see so much you see nolan in every one of his films you see so much of himself and that's what i really love this was a love story that had hope and despair intermarried with one another we have this protagonist Cobb who we, he's hiding so much from us and we slowly get to learn about him and we know something's not right with him from the beginning but we just don't know what. And it seems like he has the right motives in the beginning but everything that he touches, it just seems to like fall apart. And then the fact that Nolan worked with such a grand ensemble, there was like seven characters, but they all worked and meshed together within this movie. I think they were all handled well. Oh, as a film lover and maker, this movie just hit all the right spots and it did it in just a fresh way. This movie came out in 2010. This movie easily challenges films that are being made today. From stories to visual effects to character to, to just just these ideas that just make you say, what? What? Like, that's what I love. Like, I don't want to watch a movie where I've seen the plot a thousand times. I want a movie where I'm like, I'm, I've never seen nothing like this before. And that's exactly what Nolan does. I just love the relationship that Christopher Nolan has with Hans Zimmer. Because uh, Hans scoring goes hand, neck and neck with the story and the moment. It makes each scene so intense and I feel emotionally connected to what to what is happening in the moment. Like his music, gets, it gets my heart rate going and I feel like I'm a part of the scene. Like Hans eats it up. I think it's so important to have a composer that enhances the scene and draws the audience into the moment because visually, you know, the movie is doing one thing, but auditory wise, the movie is doing something different. So you have all of your sit, like your senses being engaged. You're on the edge of your seat and it's like, oh, this movie is like evoking my whole body. Like it's just <laughs> inception. At the end of every Nolan movie, you're like, it, it could really go one way or it could really go the other. Like there's sometimes there's just not an answer you know or there is an answer but it's left up to you to decide and i that's what i love it's so fresh like even looking at the hero's journey like you have your call to adventure you cross the threshold there's death and rebirth but for the ending it it doesn't really fall into this resolution you don't feel at peace when the movie is over like you saw me scream at least for me it's rare when you see a movie or tv show that doesn't fall into the hero's journey. And so when you break that chain that we're so used to seeing, like, you know, a conflict, resolution, okay, ending, boom. Okay, we were expecting that. In the third act, you were expecting some big fight, but it's like, he kind of broke that rhythm. And as a viewer, you have this unsettling feeling because it's something that we're not used to seeing. Nolan, I don't wanna talk about it. Anyway, um, Nolan. Nolan did it again. Um, go ahead and put Inception on one of my favorites. Uh, Tenet is already up there. Interstellar is already up there. 
I'm a sucker for writer directors. Love me some Christopher Nolan. Love me some Hans Zimmer. And when you put it all together, mix it all together. Oh, you just have a great movie. Like the, the, it, it could have just said Inception. Then it could have said Christopher Nolan. Then we could have just rolled the credits and I would have been over here clapping. I would have been over here clapping, okay? Was there anything else that I wanted to say? I'm already excited. Um, Oppenheimer coming out next year with Cillian Murphy. I saw the teaser for that. I'm so hype and ready. Plus that one, it already looks like artistically Nolan is doing some things with the film. So I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah, wow. Christopher, Nolan, Nolan. That's amazing. Anyway, wow, wow. Y'all, do we really witness that? Was it all a dream? It was all a dream. Like what? Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'll be on here talking for, I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and tap that bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you like to see more content, click on one of these over here. Until next time, guys.